friend, it's Pat Sloan here. So it is the last block in the bottom row of our Block Wednesday Jelly Roll Sampler. And let's see, can you see it out there? I have it hanging on the clothesline. See it? <laughs> okay, so let's go out there and look. Okay, here are my plants in here. This, this, look at this, look at this queen, look at her. Oh my goodness, and there are more new shoots there like there's two of those I, I don't even know what to do with her she is so gigantic oh big 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 okay so there might be traffic because you know I live on a street imagine that <laughs> I have a big yard but there's a street behind there so here is the jelly roll sampler oh no border so we're at the point where you have decisions on what to do for your border I there we go. Look, look how gorgeous. And I did mine with Paradise Park. My uh, using the jelly roll. Oh, it's a still day. That quilt is not moving at all. So you, the border that comes with it, I have already put on the white outer border here. And then here is the block that you're going to do this week. So your row and I flipped mine. You see, I have like the nine patch out here. And the nine patch out there and then these blocks are the same well there's a breeze there's a breeze for us uh, they're the same um, direction but the colors are rotated so you can do the checkerboard like I'm going to do or at this point you could just stop it's a really good size quilt so you could just stop here and that could be the size or you could just add a fabric border to it. You don't have to do the checkerboard. But next week I will have the final with my checkerboard border on it. Okay, there we go. I'm jumping here quick to tell you I have several stacks of state fabrics like this. And I've decided that on Friday evening at 8 p.m. Eastern time, I will run a bonus video to go through the state fabrics that have come, talk about what is left, and maybe do a little bit of the critter quilt. So just be a bonus. It is kind of the excitement. The It'll all be recorded and it will be a live chat. So I'll be in the live chat talking to you, but the video will all be pre-recorded and it'll be running as a premiere status at 8 p.m. Eastern time this Friday. So be there or be square. So there it is. It was nice that it's uh, decent outside so that I could hang it up out there and show you. Remember, this is from the Simply Jelly Rolls. It was a sampler from making the different quilts. And the block for this week, the last block in the quilt is called the Custard Quilt. I love how this looks. This particular fabric on here looks like it's probably a French general line because they tend to have a limited number of colors. It's kind of like that taupe and red. And so that's, I think that adds to the kind of the appeal of this particular quilt where they, it's got not that many colors in the jelly roll, but any of them would be super cute. I think it's a super cute block and fun to do. Okay, so th after that, next week, is your border decision like I was talking about uh, and on the pattern you've got all the border things let me just show you here here is one of my borders so there you go I've kept the navy as the same fabric and then there's some pops of pink and then the they're all the same design here this this particular design but in the um, pink etching, the gray etching, the blue, and then the actual pink backgrounds. And so that will be, that will be the border. So next week I will have all of those on. And then this quilt, this quilt will go into the history books. <laughs> we will be done with that block Wednesday. Our next block Wednesday starts on September 11th and it is celebrating our national parks. Now, for those of you outside of the United States, the national parks are a huge uh, organization of by our government government organization of the parks and monuments and rivers and trails and things that have historical value and um, value as for their beauty for their nature many of them are big outdoor areas you know like the Grand Canyon uh, you know that kind of a thing but many but some of them are just as an old monument or a home that they're 
uh, keeping for um, history, for what it represents, that kind of a thing. And there's over 400 of these across the United States. We have uh, nine blocks in our quilt along from September 9th into whatever it is, sometime in November when we end. And so, of course, I am not going to just do nine parks because, you know, honestly, that would be boring. So, because uh, what nine parks would you pick? You know, it's just, that's boring. So instead, I'm going to have nine things about national parks. And so I've got nine different topics and each week we'll kind of talk about the topic and something within it. So that will be super, super fun. All right, a few other things. It is avocado day. <laughs> Avocados. I did look to see if there's like avocado fabric because you know, I don't think I have any. I saw some on Amazon. So there's a link in the description box below. If you have a quilt with avocados on it, show that today it is also and, and also if you want you can go into my facebook group uh, the fireside chat for our youtube community to talk about non-quilting things and if you have a great recipe with avocados share it there i like to put some balsamic vinegar on them i just you know that kind of the kind of syrupy kind that's condensed yum yum i love it and salt some heavier yeah a little bit of salt on those avocados Good, 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 good. Or just give me some great gu guacamole, you know, guacamole and chips. It is also Mutt Day. If you um, have a quilt, a dog quilt, a quilt with dogs on it, the dog fabric, dog applique, not your actual dog. <laughs> okay, if your actual dog is sitting on a dog quilt, that's fine. Okay, we could do that. But don't, you know, if you want to show a dog, your actual dog, you have to go over to the fireside chat and do it there, not in the quilt group. But the quilt group, you can share quilts with dogs on them. And so I have, a, years ago, I did a great pan, this uh, of, of fabric, it was just for my beginner book that had all dog faces on it, that was so fun. And I've used many dog fabrics over the years. A lot of those have been given to charity already, so I don't have them anymore. Okay, so it, we, have, we have converted over to 112,000, so I've switched out the, um, the little sign and Marie sent me you know all these little numbers to switch out which is great I use double stick tape so I'm gonna put that up there and uh, I've got uh, two Q&A and then we're going to talk about the state the state fabric so hold on I have two Q&A the first one is about is from Etta I believe and she says uh, how often do I change my machine needles? So, oh, well, you know, in the past, I used to sort of listen for the sound of them. They made, they changed the sound as the needle dulled and got sort of like a popping noise. And I found like on these newer machines, so that means for a long time now, because I've had more, you know, newer, modern machines, uh, I don't get that same sound. Um, I'm not sure why, maybe the needles are being made better maybe than they were before, but either way, it's probably after I've done several projects. Uh, I know some people do them, change their needle after every project, but I don't change it after every project. I think that's, that's not necessary, at least I haven't found it to be necessary. If you're having any kind of problem with uh, skip stitches, of course, or anything like that, change your needle. Um, and there was a question, I didn't keep who it was from, about the non-stick needles. So this is what a non-stick needle is. This is, a kind, this is the brand I use anyways. I use Schmetz uh, for everything. And the non-stick needle are ones that are coated. Uh, and maybe I talked about this the other day. I think I did. I talked about this the other day. But that's what they look like. I think that was it. So <laughs> my brain, my brain, I don't know where it went. Uh, it's lost. Okay, what was the other thing? Oh, <laughs> Joyce asked, am I going to do this quilt pattern, the cats, let me get it out here. Am I going to do this cats with, um, as a quilt along? Ah, let me get the pattern. So here it is. Here's the cats. So I'm going to do this as a quilt along. Maybe, maybe. I'm not saying yes or no. Of course, if you want to do it, just make it. Don't wait for me. Don't hold your breath. Uh, but I really do want to. I just want to digress a minute before we go to the state stuff, just for a minute. Because uh, the other day, 
when I was talking about projects and things like that, somebody left me a comment, which I didn't even keep who it was, but somebody left a comment and said, why don't you work on the projects that are on my to-do list of things that I'd like to make? And I have been thinking about that question for a really long time because there are actually multiple reasons why I'm not working on those. One, it might be that it's a long-term kind of project. Like I have one that's a lot of little piecing and I'm just not in the mood to do that or to focus on it or have it as a primary project to be working on. So some are sort of a bigger project uh, and I just haven't, you know, I don't, I don't feel like putting them on my schedule, but I would like to do them someday. Uh, other things basically have fallen through the cracks. That's basically the two reasons. One is like, I'm not really in the mood to have that, even though I want to do it one day. And the other type of project is one that I would really like to do. It probably fits with what I'm doing, but it gets, it fell through the cracks. I put it in that box or I made a list somewhere and it just never came back up to the surface as something to work on. So in the next few weeks on my, my personal schedule, I'll be kind of looking at 2025, basically like looking at the full year as to what kind of things do I want to be hosting? How many do I want to host each month? What are the primary things I already know that I will do, such as something for a new fabric line, something for a project I've already committed to with, with an organization, you know, that kind of a thing. And get those laid out and then like how many other things in that month would I want to do, plus leave space because there's always something cute that comes up. And I'm not, I am absolutely 100% not that person who goes like, I'm not starting anything new this year, I'm just going to work on UFOs. That would just kill my desire to be a quilter. Just it would just slice it off right there. Be, there'd be zero desire to quilt if I gave myself that kind of restriction. It is just not fun for me at all. I like to do new things. I like to see something and be able to make it right away. And recently, my, I overloaded my schedule a little bit too much so that it's been more difficult to just see something and go like, that's super cute. I'm seeing it right now. There's some cute fabric. I want to make that now. Um, and. And that's the kind of thing I have to leave room for in my schedule going forward. So, you know, you know life, things change. You, you make things work. All right. I taped this part a little bit before. So I think my hair looks different. <laughs> we taped it earlier in the day. So let's look at the state stuff. So we're going to take a look at the state fabrics that came in and then we're going to go over to the computer and look at the states that I still need. So for those of you who are thinking about sending state fabric after you see these and then you can see what's what I still don't have. Uh, so okay, so the first one is from Charlene and it has both North and South Carolina on this one. Uh, I think she said the lighthouse is uh, at Cape Hatteras. She was at the Cape Hatteras Lighthouse, which she and her husband go to often. So thank you. Okay, who else do we have? This is from April. Oh, she's in, um, North, yes, where is she from? Which state? North, south. I didn't write down which state you're from. <laughs> north or south? <laughs> that north or south? I think north. Uh, so this one's from April in Pennsylvania. She sent one of the state, um, stamp things that you know they had this series and then she also sent me a super cute mushroom oh how cute is that how cute is that i'm getting a collection of mushroom patterns now which is of course totally awesome totally awesome uh and we have the great state of texas <laughs> and this is from sonia and look at the pretty card such a pretty card. And she has several, several Texas fabrics. I've not seen this one. This is pretty cool with the, look at that. And it's got Texas there, of course, like a branding. Uh, we've got a Texas sayings. Don't mess with Texas. How do you all star Lone Star State fixin' to, <laughs> they say fixin' to down in uh, Arkansas because that's where my first publisher was. They had trained me on how to, how to understand <laughs> what they were talking about. Here's Texas. I had been to Texas probably, well, a lot. <laughs> Maybe not the most, but it's up there. It's up there because I would go to the trade shows. And the blueberry, and blueberries, <laughs> the bluebells, Texas bluebells. I never did see those, but I was probably close to being there at the right time of year, but they weren't. 
they weren't out yet or something like that. So I looked, I looked. See, this is from Pat in Michigan. Sweet card, and you've all written such nice notes. I really, really appreciate them. So Pat sent me first a uh, little panel from the Great Lakes. There we go. Look at that, Great Lakes. That is so cool. These are really neat. They're very pretty. I like I like the style of these. I've, you've had a, gotten a couple of these now. Then she also sent me some lemon, some yellow squares for the lemon chiffon. So that is awesome. And they go right over here, so I can use them. They're in my basket now, right on top. So they will go right into the next blocks. And then for the kitty quilt that I will do one day, <laughs> she sent some fabric because she said it made her laugh. And I think they're darling. They are so darling. Oh. Okay, this was a little bit, we had a little bit more in the mail day today. So this is from Karen in Georgia, and uh, first let me show you this card, which she said she she drew this or painted it, however you want to say, because it was painted with watercolor pencils. Isn't that pretty? And she said she likes to do things with her granddaughter, try different different uh, mediums. So she actually lives in Georgia, but she was born and raised in North Dakota. So she sent me a North Dakota. A fabric which is one of the few states I have yet to be to I haven't gone to North Dakota yet my great niece lives my, my niece and my great niece live there now um, but I will get there someday North Dakota North Dakota and Oklahoma Alaska and Hawaii those are those are the four that I need to hit at some point <laughs> that's so pretty love the blue and we have Carol from Oregon Look at that cute mouse on the card. <laughs> so she sent me also some squares for the lemon chiffon. So let me just, I'm just like, these go right on the stack, right on top. There we go. Makes it perfect. And she said that uh, she didn't, couldn't find any Oregon fabric. Nobody had any in the stores locally, but she was able to find some fabric from Los Angeles. So look at that. That is awesome. Been there several times, had family there for many years. Uh, yeah, actually the, the niece who is in North Dakota lived in just south of LA for a long time, as did my mom and a bunch of other people, my brother. Yeah, <laughs> been there, not as much as have, I've gone to Texas because, you know, trade show. Okay, so the last uh, state one I have is from Kathy in Tennessee. And she sent me, sent me a pretty card. Look at the hydrangeas, my fave, my fave. And a yummy Starbucks. Mwah. These go to great use. I will get one today. And then some Tennessee fabric. So let me just show you those. So I hadn't seen one like this before, so that's pretty cool. There's Beale Street. I've been to Beale Street. I've been to Chattanooga. I've been to Pigeon Forge. Been to a lot of places. And then a Tennessee version. These fabrics are cool too. I like these ones with the scenery. So the words, all the different words, which are amazing. Whoops. So got those guys. Love them. Love them, everybody. Uh, we'll go to the computer in one minute, but I want to show you this other thing that came in the mail from my friend Nadine, my buddy Nadine. So first of all, Nadine, when I was when I was doing um, oh going through my quilts, looking at what needed a binding, what needed binding done, and I had and which ones maybe I wasn't going to bind, I was just going to go ahead and give them away. And I was showing the Secret Lives of Color, and then Nadine wrote me, and she's like, "No, no, no, you can't give that one away." You have to, you have to finish it. She goes, send it to me and I will, I will put the binding on. <laughs> she goes, I have a perfect binding. And so, and so we have it. I can't remember what's it. Okay, maybe I can remember the top and bottom. And she left me, I'm taking off notes. She, le she left me little notes of the fabrics on here that she loves because she and I have, <laughs> she and I have traded novelty prints because we both like, adore them. So she left me little notes on the quilt. Oh, there's another one. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Nadine, all your notes just made me laugh. They are so sweet. So one of them she said she missed out on. Now I'm going to have to try to see if I have it anymore. I'll send you some. <laughs> so there we go. 
Here's the Secret Lives of Color, and she picked this beautiful soft pink and white stripe binding to go on it, which is just perfect. Look at that. And remember I had this um, uh, really cool fabric. Remember I bought the black version first and then thought that was going to work, but turned out it didn't. <laughs> so I had to buy the white. So I saw the, the, I think maybe it's on navy, but yeah. Oh, so excited. So excited. Love it. Love it. Love it. And Nadine sent me a super sweet, super sweet wall hanging. Look at this. Look how darling this is. And this is my crush pattern. The one that I'm doing the roar fabric, the one that's there, there, that's the, the block. Love it. Love it. Love it. And the unicorn in the middle. Mwah. And she sent me a few fun fabrics as well love these mushrooms more mushrooms this is a sweet sweet brown fabric some green polka dots and nadine found me some some critters to keep of my own look at these look how cute they are oh with their little cups and everything see their little cups oh so darling <laughs> so darling thank you nadine okay Let's go over to the computer and see what states I have left. So here we are on the state uh, and country fabrics. Uh, if we get some other countries, I have the UK so far, and I think somebody's sending me a piece from Canada. So I have 20 states still that I have for you to send if you want to, which we have Alabama, Colorado, Delaware, Hawaii, Idaho, Indiana, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine, Minnesota, Mississippi, Nebraska, Nevada, New Mexico, which I do believe somebody is sending me from New Mexico, which is awesome. I've been to New Mexico. I've been to most states, but I love New Mexico. We vacationed there several times. Oregon, Rhode Island, South Dakota, uh, Vermont, Washington State and Washington DC. I did see some Washington DC fabric on eBay. Uh, and so and there's also Spoon Flower does print lots of things. So there's the rest of the states and here are some multiples and my UK fabric, which uh, has the, the flag. It came from uh, Leanne in Alabama because she wasn't sending me for fabric. She was sending me this for something else. She wasn't sending for the States. So she was sending me this because she thought it went with something else. And, uh, but it's like, oh, it goes here too. So we'll put it in this section. So there we go. This project is going to be so much fun. And I really do, I do have an idea, but I have not done anything more than write down the thought of it. And so, uh, but, but it's feeling really fun. Like it'll be enjoyable to do, which is my goal with the state fabrics is to do something fun. I have zero uh, interest in where it will go at this point. So if you leave me a comment saying you should give it somewhere, I may never to nobody. I may keep it myself. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with the state fabric quilt when it's done because I wanna enjoy designing it and making it before I even think about its long-term life. I don't think about that now. It's not even on my radar. Anyways, it's been super fun getting all of these in and we still have tw 20 states as of taping this to collect, so yay. So go and be sure that you look and, and you don't need to send me any for the states I already have now. Go ahead and just send for the states that I don't have. And get your last block done for the sampler. There we go. Here we go. Ta-da! There it is, all in the quilt. <laughs> so I love you. Mwah. Thank you for being here in the Sloan Zone. I will see you online. <music>